Hello everyone! Oh shit, I just dropped my DS. Hold on. Ow! Bitch! I just hit my shoulder on my desk. Oh god, that's a great way to start a video. Okay, so anyways, hey everyone, I'm Neon Fox Let's Plays, aka Skulk to Neon Fox, and welcome to my computer screen! Yes, I own an, a Mac computer. Go to hell, PC users who hate Mac users. I don't know. Uh, so anyways, yes, uh, we're gonna start my next let's play let's play number 12 i cannot believe we're already on 12 let's plays. i mean geez it just seems like yesterday we were doing paper mario anyways let's start up this game and yes the title's already been revealed but we're gonna pretend like we didn't see that this is nintendo and ape Ooh. and halkin what game could this be it's a game from my childhood almost every game i've played so far has been now this game is probably one of the most memorable Cause this intro scared the crap out of me when I was a little kid. Yeah. That's scary to see in the middle of the night when you're like six years old. But anyways, hello everyone, I'm Neon Fox Let's Play, and welcome to Let's Play number 12! Mother 2, aka known in America as Earthbound! Made in 1994 by Nintendo and Shigesato Itoi, and also Ape Inc. Inc. Well, yeah. So, anyways, yeah, I'm Skulking on Fox. I'll be your furry commentator for this Let's Play, as I've always been. And we're going to play probably one of the most underrated games of all time, and yet it has probably one of the biggest underground fan bases too. It, God, jeez, that that style of Windows is that shit is bananas. B a n a n a s. God. Uh, usually I do some type of flavor, but I think I'm just gonna stick with plain for this one. So anyways, this, let's get into starting, uh, naming stuff. Now, there's gonna be a lot to explain, so if I forget something, I will explain with annotations. So anyways, we're just gonna do the default names for everyone, that's the don't care name. So there's Ness, which is gonna be us, and there's Paula. You can name these characters anything you want, but for this round, I'm just gonna do the default names. I was originally gonna do, like... My friends here on YouTube, I was gonna do me, and then Lila, Lila Dagger. Here's Jeff. Uh, God, I could probably do a little Mad Man, I guess. And, uh, we're gonna try to be adult about this name, people. We are going to be adults, okay? It's just a name. Now for our pet. Uh, I'm just gonna use a don't care name. King. Uh, actually, no, I don't think I really wanna use the default name. Uh, I want to make something a little bit original. Uh, you know, I'm going to name it after my first dog. Even though my first dog was actually a girl. Her name was Samantha. So, uh, I'm just going to call uh, the dog Sammy. It's a boy. So we're going to call it Sammy. Yes, this dog is a boy. Although it's not, it doesn't get as gender confused as a Matarasu. My god, guys, that's a girl, not a boy. Ah, People forget that, god. Now our favorite homemade soup. Now the don't care one is steak, but we're gonna choose soup because oh I love soup. Love soup. If anyone out there is watching friends, you know, key lime pie, Rimsy, I mean sassafras, sorry, and uh Cheryl, uh, you guys all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh god. Okay, our favorite thing now, the default one is rockin', but I'm gonna be a little bit more original. And I'm gonna do Neon, because I thought that'd be cool. Uh, this will later on be the name of an attack. Uh, we'll actually get really soon in the game. They, they give it to you fairly early, but kind of. So is this all good? Yeah, I think that's good. Let's start Mother 2, AKA Earthbound. Okay, Scott. The year is 1990X. Is it 2000? Now the X just means it's a mysterious number. It's a variable. I hate math. Onet, a small town in Eagle Land. Or Onet. I call it Onet. Doesn't matter. Ness's house. 
And there's actually a typo right there. Uh, you know, so it's just supposed to be any S S and then an apostrophe. You're not supposed to put an S after that if the word if the name already ends in an S. We're just sleeping off here in well, what's that sound? Oh, jeez. Welcome to Earthbound, guys. What the fuck was that? I don't know. So, anyways, yes, it's Earthbound. A game released in the 90s. It's an RPG now. It's definitely different from the RPGs that were released during that time. Because this one's set in a very typical setting. In, a, in America. Let's talk to our sister. Yes, we have a sister. Hey, bro, did the sound wake you up? Oh, yeah, I did. Were you freaked out? A little bit. Sisters, our sister's so nice. Her room's all pink. Alright, let's go down here. There's our mom. Before our hair's all messed up. What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. Jeez, I wish my mom was that cool. Huh? You'll sneak out of your room anyways, even if I asked you not to. Probably would have. At least change out your jammies before you go. Jeez, I wish my mom was that cool about it. It's just like, oh, you're just coming out in the middle of the night? Oh, okay, well, I guess I'm not going to stop you. Just change out your jammies. Even I probably wouldn't... Yes, I'm totally going to leave the house in my pajamas. I totally will do that. So anyways, let's go back into our sister's room because there's a present right here. I love gifts. Let's open the present. There's your crack bat inside. Ness takes it. Now we're going to get into a little bit in equipping items in this game. Like any almost almost any RPG, you can equip items in this game. So we're going to go to our uh, equip status. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay, so we're going to use crack bat. It's a really, it's a pretty weak weapon, but it's the first one you get in the game. We're going to get something that replaces it in about a few videos. So, yeah. Be careful. Come home as soon as you can. Uh, by the way, guys, I know this game might seem a little bit dull at first, but trust me, just stick with me for the first few parts and you'll get into this game. It's a great game. And as we're now outside here. Now, most RPGs, as you know, are fighting dragons, going into labyrinths and stuff. This game is very, very different from all that. It's set here in what's supposedly rural America. Eagle Land's off, obviously based off of America. Eagle Land. Did you hear about the Big Bang? I think the mirror... Uh, mirror blah, blah, blah. I want to be the first one to see it, okay? I'm going to be the first one to be there. Well, you're not moving, so I don't think you will be, dude. So yeah, it's definitely different. That's kind of why it wasn't well received, especially since that it was made during an era when RPGs weren't all that popular. Meteor has land. Sharks are running wild in the town. You kids are wandering around and I'm hungry. I hate my job. I'd hate to be a police officer too. Jeez. So yeah, let's just see what all the hub. What was that new word? Hullabaloo. What's really funny is that I did not know what that word meant. I first learned it in Icelandic. And then some, and then I learned it in English. I'm like, whoa, geez, I never even heard that word before. And there's another present here. Let's see what's inside of it. Let's open the present. There's a bread roll inside. Ooh, a bread roll. Uh, that'll be an item that restores HP. As you saw earlier, we have an HP meter and a PP meter. We'll get into PP later. No, it is not dirty. It is not what you're thinking of it. Uh, even though I did drink a lot of lemonade earlier. Nice thing. Nice timing, Ness. Would you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Uh, let's just say yes and see what happens. And you live in the house next to his. I see. Uh, I usually say, I for, I never say no. Let's see what's see now. You're not friends, but you're our neighbors. You, but aren't you neighbors? Hey, Ness. Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting the cops. Oops. I mean, officer's way. Well, excuse me. Pin princess. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the street major. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers, and you're not. Shh, shh. What? Do you... Shh, listen. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, out of... Out of way, out... Get my... It was my mistake. I mean, get out of my way. You're not even moving. So, yes, this game uh, is really fun. Very lighthearted. Uh, just like in any of the Mar Mother series, it really does get to you. I mean, these games, they just, they're so different from any other games. Because, I mean, it's just like, they, they're they more interact. They kind of feel more at home with people. I feel like that they they have a bigger impact because they just kind of feel like normal life. Uh, and, you know, it's, oh, this stuff, don't think this is just going to be like a daily life thing. No, it's, we're going to get into an adventure. We'll definitely get an adventure. Welcome home, this. It's not necessary to talk about tonight. Alright, then it's late. Scoot off scoot off to bed now. Alright, fine, we will. Later that night. Oh, you know, that's never a good thing. Someone's knocking on the door. 
apparently they woke us up. I mean, geez, that's a lad knocking. Can this not wait until morning? Damn! He's woken everyone up. Fuck your mom. My land, who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? Oh, geez. Well, it's fine then. Mom! Let's go see who it is. Oh! It's you. Hey, listen, this is what I gotta say! What? What took me to the place for the meteorite I landed? Oh, good evening, man. You're looking lovely as usual. Don't be making fun of my mom. I'll punch you in the face. Anyway, as, as I was saying, yeah, this is your saying. The police were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly. To deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks are local ruffians. Yes, you know. They were really going wild. Suddenly, no, Spicky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. Sure. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? You're not really my friend. You're kind of rude to me. Do you know what, dude? No, you got your own problems. If you refuse me, I'll say something I'll cut you like a knife. Oh, well then. Aren't we a little violent? Fine then. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? Shut up. I'll punch you. I know the dog's unreliable, but you should take Sammy along. Don't call my dog unreliable. She's just blind. The crack bat in Tracy's room can help at a time like this. I already got that. Mommy. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. Oh, shucks. You're my very own natural born fighter. Fighter? Fighter? You'll go far. Jeez, I'm just... Uh, remember to go for it! There's gonna be a lot of reading in this next one. But I think you should change out your journey before you leave. Of course, as last time. But anyways, guys, I think we're just about done for this first video. We've done a lot. I'm pretty sure this video is pretty long as it is. So, we're gonna continue this game in the next video. So, next time on Earthbound, we're gonna help Picky go find his... I mean, Porky go find his brother, Picky. Pokey. Porty. Banana. We're gonna help go help Pokey find his brother, Picky. My god. Pokey joins you. Let's get the dog, too. Do you want me to go with you? Yes, I would, Sammy. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. We got both got them. Alright, I'll see you guys next time when we continue this Let's Play. Phone! Oh, my phone's interrupting me! Who is this mysterious person calling Ness? Will we find Pokey's little brother, Picky? Find out next time on...